There you go. So what kind of sluice is that? Pretty much a handmade out of different pieces. Um, the flare is a keen flare. Okay. Um, the aluminum box is, I had, I bent it. You know, it's 063 aluminum, we just had it bent up. Oh, so you made your own? The, yep. Ooh, oh, cool. the, uh, the leg brackets came from uh, Goldhog. When he was making those, he's not making those anymore. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, the cover is uh, American prospecting and some, I don't know, some outfit that was making these. I picked that up. So, you know, this is put together, works great in the early spring. Right now, there really isn't enough water flow probably to run it with the cover on it. But okay. I'll set it up and show you. But, you know, having it, having it so you can put legs on it and jack it up and move it around in the stream helps a lot especially if you're trying to get the water flow just right. There's two different uh, mats that I put in here. There's, um, you know, again, these are the gold hog mats. It's a 10 inch wide uh, strip. And uh, these are, this section's the, the uh, UR mat that he uses or sells. So that's uh, where the, everything goes to first. Right. Okay. And then the other section, this next section is a scrubber section. So he makes all different mat profiles and you know you can change them out to whatever you want. Um, I use this typically when I've got a lot of water, you know, like super fast water. Yeah. And the reason for the high riffle is when you get into a lot of clay and stuff, it you know happens to gives you more turbulence. Um, and it cleans out the, the mats quicker. So um, I've used the uh, UR uh, under riffle stuff in a dredge, you know, in the top of your box. You can put that in there. Yeah. It works good for, you know. Just quick identification. Right, for catching stuff. Uh -huh. um, what's in the box is actually his Razorback mat, which is what they suggest for um, stream sluices. And the upper section, you pull that out if you want to see it. Again, it has a small riffle and then a series of uh, even smaller riffles. What happens is it has a little ramp on the front of it. A lot of the gold will go up that ramp and stick, you know, right in that one section right there. Oh, wow, okay. So, so does it, this work pretty good for getting the black sands and garnets out? Or, um... Yeah, what it does is it keeps the garnet and black sand down. Okay. Um, again, it's an active exchange mat. That's pretty good. So, uh, so this mat here does a pretty good job of just not packing up, right? Like right. compared to like a regular, like right. riffle or. Right. Okay. Right. Cool. Can't wait to see it in action. Well, <laughs> let me get it leveled up and ready to go for you. Yeah. This time of year. Is it important to classify this this matting? No. Oh, okay. Even better. I'll shovel right on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that that was pretty neat though. I never seen it. You can just order these online. Yeah, there's uh, one outfit that makes them, and it, it fits. You know, it fits the A52. You know, cool. one of the things it took some monkeying around with to get it to work right because. Certain mats, um, when you put that cover over the top, it changes the water flow across the top of those mats. Okay. So really, the lower the profile, the mat, the better it works. Ah. So I, I run it with Vortex. You know, if you've got super fine gold and that's all you're after, you know, again, I, the reason I like to build my own stuff is because you know different spots require different yeah different things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. some places I'll put vortex in it. I, I find vortex works good up at the Wild Damanusa. Here, 
you know fills up too quick yeah it tends to fill up pretty quick uh -huh. i mean you can see how quick that you know that's already cleaned itself out pretty well yeah yeah and right now it's not even working that that well uh, you, if you get closer you can see yeah uh, you, know, uh, you, you can actually see some of the particles will reverse and actually come up behind the ripples oh yeah you can see it dancing around in there it really needs look at that oh yeah look at that you know, but again, you see how quick that cleans up? Yeah, yeah, that just took maybe yep. 10 seconds. So this one is Talon, right? Talon? Top. The top okay. two or three pieces. All right, this is Talon. So I know when I redo it. <laughs> What's what? You can tell it right in there. The only thing you're going to see is this is the top of the bed rock. You can see the color of it. So this one is razor back in, in the bottom. Okay. Right. This. this is just a little uh, hand pump, hand dredge. Um, has two flapper valves on the bottom of it, one in line and one on the bottom. Okay. Um, so did you build that yourself? Yep. You go online, you can find different ones. Got a little rubber gasket on the end of it. Okay, so you got PVC pipe going to look. Yeah. It's like a threaded rod. It's a MacGyver deal. <laughs> So it's probably too complicated to explain right now, but yeah, I mean, I'm just go online. You, you can, can you can build them. I mean, there's different ones. You can buy the commercial one. You know, there's different ones. Yeah. And um, so when you pump, it just kind of. What I'm gonna do is again, I got a five gallon pail. I'm gonna submerge that. You're gonna either sit on it or stand on it. Probably just sit on it. Relax. work the bottom so that's just gonna put all this stuff right into uh, the bucket for you correct nice does it get clogged a lot or anything like that not much that's good just a pain in the ass <laughs> plus I've got this feature on it which on a nice warm day it works great but um, See if I can point that in the opposite direction so I'm not squirting you. Probably haven't got anything in the bucket. Yeah, anyways, that's perfect. Looks perfect for uh, bedrock. Trying to get the last little bit out of the cracks and stuff. Once you've used the dredge, it's, you can't compare this to a Ah, uh, but... <laughs> See if we got anything in here. You can hear a few, a few pieces trickling down through it. You now, where you've got nice sand, it'll suck stuff off the bottom. It's a lot of work just to get a little bit of goodness off the bottom. So do you primarily just use that for getting stuff out of the bedrock? Yeah, I mean, I'll... it's just a show and tell right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a little bit of stuff. There you go. Is there like a classifier screen on the bottom nope. of it? Oh, okay, so that's just stuff that just oh, okay. I had, it's got a, uh, it's got, oh, a, okay, it's a, got a nail that goes across it, cool nail, yeah. just taped in there, so. That's a good idea, so you don't get too many clogs. You know, once you get it cleaned down to bedrock, I'll run that around it. But. Yeah. Just another piece of equipment they have to drag around. <laughs> well, in the right situation, it could uh, really come in handy.
So that mat there was just one piece? Yep, all one piece. Oh, it was, I always thought there were sections. They are, but they're all glued up. They're glued into one to make one. So again, I'm going to reverse roll it. What that does is it opens up all the nooks and crannies that are in it. Just reverse roll it nice and tight. The ends are always a pain in the ass because they're the stiffest, but <laughs> you know, there's nothing in there, it's just black sand. Well, so that's pretty easy to clean out. You just reverse roll and dunk. All right. A couple pieces right there, and one piece. Okay. That's it. That looks pretty easy. So and again, you're not left with too much either. There's all your concentrates for what? You know, I haven't been working all that hard, but you know, you're talking. You know, a couple of cups. Yeah, yeah. Like a quart or so. So again, you look at what's in here. Now I've got some big garnets that are in here. Oh yeah. There it is. Some gold sitting right on the top. Right there. Again, you see how hard that is to move? Yeah, it is. Now that's, that's all that. Heavy. What I've got left is garnets and magnetite. Now if I put a magnet in that, Right. And because that sluice wasn't running as fast as it should have been, you know, I've got a lot more garnet in here. Garnet's a curse. Garnet. Actually, there's garnet and another mineral called starlight, which is another one that looks like garnet. So, all right, let's see what we got. All right. And I'm starting to pick up small pieces that I'm washing down. You know, you can see how high up in the pan there's a piece right here. And you can see how much I worked it. I've got, you know, a piece of gold sitting way up in the stack or in the pile. Right. You know, it wasn't driven down. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly you, you know, guys that think they can pan shit up here in Vermont on the brooks, they'll lose stuff like that. Oh, there you go. Bunch of it right there. Yeah, right. I mean, that's I drove that down into the bottom with. Yeah. So you can start to see it come up. Oh yeah. Nice. So. Again. Nice. So, that's pretty typical of what comes out of here. Pretty good, and you only. Worked out for what? Maybe a couple hours. I haven't been working very hard. Yeah. I've been bullshitting with you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Again, for cleanup, this stuff goes into a five-gallon pail. I take it home. I've got a, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take out the big stuff. I'll classify it. It's like probably a three-sixteenths or something like that. Yeah. It's a piece of stainless steel. Um, like window screen? No, it's actually from a real operation. Oh, it's yeah. uh, slotted screen stuff. Um, I'll pass it over that. Then what goes into the bucket, I've got a cleanup sluice with it recirculates and it's got that gold hog um, washer mat has a piece of ur mat in the top of it that runs up on the side um, it has two or three sections of this of that washer mat and then on the bottom it's got a piece of the razorback mat cool and that'll take that bucket you know i'll take half of a five gallon pail of concentrates and run that takes 
you know, 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes. Well, you know, no classifying, just run it right through it. Right there, yeah. And that'll probably pull out 85% of the gold. Oh, wow. You know, 85, 90% of it. All right, let's check out your gold. This is from uh, so far this year, okay, from this spot that I'm in right now. Okay. So this is all, um, you know, the main brook here, and you can see, you know, the size. There isn't any huge uh, pieces in here. You know, you might have some, oh, I don't know, 8 to 12 mesh semi-picker size, but, you know, most of it's in the probably, uh, I don't know, 20 to 30 mesh yeah, size like stuff. Yeah, a lot of 30, yeah, yep. 20, 20, yep. 30. So, I mean, that's, again, that's from... Wow, so that looks, that's... That's this year out of where I'm digging right now. And that's what, a half, is that a half ounce vial? Yeah, it's probably a half ounce. So, wow. Not bad, that's only and, halfway and through and the we season. Got, we got uh, a late start here because of ice in this spot. Um, probably from the mid-April. May was pretty much a bust. Might have got in here, you know, probably around April 10th, somewhere in there. Yeah, and again, I don't. I, I prospect most uh, weekends. I'm a weekender. Just weekends. So you know, mostly Saturday. You know, and I don't bust my ass. <laughs> you know, this one is from last season. Um, again, that's the side brook. And if you, I don't know. I'm not oh, gonna you got some uh, good pickers. But there's in there. there are there's one in here. There's that's, a big one right there. There's one that's over a gram. There's an eight tenths in there. I mean, I don't know if I can get that big one to sit up but um, this was pretty much a Vermont gold rush up that one brook wow <laughs> so you did that all season last year that was just from that one brook just last that season one brook. Wow. yes yeah that looks... you, you can see that one piece probably toward the top of it and I mean there's yep. some there was some good size stuff that looks really there. good you know um, we walked into a spot uh, it was on bedrock. You could look down and just pick the pieces off the bedrock. <laughs> I mean, it just wow. that, it's that crazy up through there. Wow. You know, look at that one. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's, that's the big piece. That's a really good one. That's a gram? So, yeah, it's about 1.2, 1 1.3, somewhere wow, in there. Wow, yeah, that looks like a really nice so, one. Look how bright. It's pretty bright, too. And um, one other guy uh, right beside me working pulled out a piece that was just a little bit bigger than that, right really? in the same spot. Wow. So it looks like all the big chunky stuff came off the side brook. Yeah, there's a huge quartz vein system that runs up through there. Sorry. <laughs> got a piece of gold up under here. It's up in that corner it was. Right. But again, I mean, you know, that's just why like drop bottom sluices and well, unless you have the right conditions and the right material. It washes up pretty good though. You know, the La Trap for what it's, you know, you're talking an $85 plastic sluice box. You know, one of my complaints is that it's not sturdy enough. If it was a little bit thicker, you know, yeah. plastic, because it flexes, you know, when you go to take it out or whatever. Um, a lot of guys like Jack's got a piece of plywood across the top of his. I've got a couple pieces of aluminum. It likes to float away. Um, I've had instances where I've gone to pull it out of the stream and lost everything that I just uh, you know, processed through it. Oh man. So, you know, if I'm doing this, I usually run maybe two or three buckets, three buckets, four buckets of classified through it, and then I clean it out. Then, yeah. So. so you added those? Pieces of aluminum. Yeah, it comes with a. It's set up. There's a piece of gold sitting right on the edge. It's. It comes with a plastic piece across it. It's really made as like for a high banker. Oh. You know, guys use it. Two of them. They'll put them together for a high banker. Okay. In a frame. And uh, you know, for a stream solution, you just cut the back out of it, and you know, add the edge ribs and uh, the aluminum. Oh, so you added that. Uh... Yeah. Side piece right there? Yeah. For what it's worth, the side piece. That must make it a lot more rigid. <laughs> you know, it's good to pack. 
it's light. Super that's light. Super light. I mean, yeah. you can just carry it in. I mean, that that in itself, you take it anywhere with you. And you, I mean, you can. You saw me run it before. You can just put unclassified stuff. You know, two, three, four inch stuff. Run it right down it if it's running right. You know, some guys you take this with them. They'll have this with their dredge, and they just pick out whatever's in their dredge box, and they put this in it at the end of the day with their dredge running, and they'll run their. You know, their concentrated material from the dredge is a cleanup. They run it right through it. Oh. Because this will fit right in your, you know, your box. Oh, okay. So, I think that's 14 inches across there, so. Oh, so that'll fit right in there? Yeah. yeah. That's an easy way to do it. <laughs> so, it's a hand, I mean, it's, again, I hate to say it, but it is a handy piece of equipment for, you know, if you're just starting out, it's a, I think it's a great sluice to start out with. Yeah. Gold, I can see it bouncing around and catching some of those ripples. I can see one from here. Just gonna pick it up and put it right in. Now the trap has on one side has a channel. You see it? Yep. So that's you always run it to that side. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's pretty easy, no carpets to deal with. Thank you. See it? Yep. Oh, I can't believe you got that. It's just huh? Yeah. Two buckets. Let's see what we've got in two buckets. So, do you have a particular pan you like using, or just anything? Or? Pro line. You like the Pro line one? Big pro lines too. This is the smaller of the two. Is that like a 10 inch pan or 12 inch pan or something? Yeah, it's, it's make, they make a 17. I like the, the big one. Oh, you like the really big one? I like the man pan. <laughs> None of this little. <laughs> Multiple riffles. You like the bigger riffles better than the smaller ones? I like those right there. Yeah, those big. Pro line makes the best pan of any of them. I don't care what it is. But again, if you look at the, the concentrates, even from, you know, this, from the, this is material that was classified and run two buckets that was run through the Latrap. If you compare the concentrates of this to what came out of the Gold Hog mat, these are dirty. They've got, you know, more lights in them, more schist particles, that kind of stuff. So again, it's not, to me, I do a lot of process engineering and what I do for, you know, business. Yeah. It's not as efficient as those gold hog mats. I see. So you're left over with like a lot of... You're left over with all kinds of junk. Yeah. You know, and garnet, we still got garnet, pretty good sized stuff. But there's a lot more junk in this that I've got to get rid of, that I've got to pan. You know, I'm bringing, if I bring this home, you, know, you can see, look at the size of the garnet that's in this. This is out of the latrap, so. Not too much in the pan, but. The reason I like the bigger pan is because I can back pan it. You know, I'll work the bottom down. Um, just sit here and rock. And then I'll take what's on the bottom and just take it and dump it out. But this is unclassified stuff, so it's pretty tough to do it. Probably should put some more water in there. See what we get. You know, you get that's a piece of magnetite that size. That's pretty big. And you can see already up where we, I haven't even started working this down. This is up on the second riffle, and I'm picking up gold already. So, you know. And here's a smaller piece here. It's sitting stratified on the top of this. You just with the amount of magnetite and garnet that's up in here, very difficult to get it to run down into the pan panning. See that piece go down right there? Yeah, I buried it, you know, right there. I'll just quickly run this down, see what we got. 
Not as much as earlier, but again, this is just two buckets of classified material. And you can see how tough it is to get work it down. It just, I mean, this stuff just sits yeah. glued in the bottom of the pan. It's some heavy stuff. Right. And, you know, I'm picking up some smaller pieces of gold. Should have a couple in the bottom. There's some there showing up. Another piece there. Some up in here. There's one. Nice. Not as good as, you know, I'm washing some over on the side. Yeah, before you were down deep. Right, I was down deeper. There's a decent piece there. there. You, you know. Starting to show up. So. That's flood material along the edge there. That's, that's what we just ran through pretty quick. You know, nice. Not yeah. bad, not bad. It's all right. <laughs>
But it uh, goes to show you, don't buy cheap hose. I think that hose is only like $130. It was 20 feet long. So this is probably uh, just a cheap hose, I guess. But uh, this one here, this one's the the 155 Cana Flex 155 GY hose. And that stuff, I can just tell right off the bat, it's just much more rugged. This is the one that my dredge came with. But uh, I switched it out. I thought that hose over there would be a good hose. And that's 20 feet. This one here is probably only maybe 12, 15 feet. So it was a little shorter. So I went with a new hose, but that didn't work out. So back to my old one. All right, let's go put it back on the dredge. And I'll get back in my hole. All right, let's go in the hole. Sandwich. Time to check out the box. Let's, uh, let's see what we got for her today. Pretty clean. Oh yeah, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. One there. It's the one that I showed earlier. That's a nice one. I like that one. Usually get a bunch of hides in the corner. Oh yeah, there's another one I'm hiding in the corner. Oh yeah, it's a little picker. It's a good one. Another one there. No, nope, that's a rock. And this one too. Yeah, if I can get it. Look at that. Up the corner. They stay safe over there. Alright. I'm finish my lunch. Get back in the water. So it's 5.48. Been in the in the hole all day. So uh, it's time to clean out. I haven't checked the box yet. Since uh since about two. So I've been running about three hours, so All right, I'm packing up. See ya. Ooh, yeah. You can see through the screen, I got a nice picker in there. I didn't even open the box yet, but I saw it right through the screen. Woohoo! Damn, he's got good eyes. He's like of course, me. skips the same right. way. He's right like, there. Could, I think I see it. You Holy shit, from, I do! You can spot oh him God. from a million miles away. He's just like me. There's no... Uh... Oh. Oh. Stop. <laughs> I was about to open it. I saw your car. I was going to open it. I stop it. See, he's got a nice... He's got a nice... Uh, there it is. 
Wow, nice look at that sucker sitting right there. Nice consistent uh, oh. box, you know, nice and consistent. Another one like here. Wow, that's nice a one. real Damn, nice. that sucker's well, chunky. Too. That's real nice. Woohoo! <laughs> Good for you. You got, about, uh, you got about four more of them in there. I'm oh, to man, it. I hope so. You just don't <laughs> I know freaking it. hope so. You just don't know it. Yeah. Well, there's another little one here. I know there's a couple little ones right there. Yep. Wow. There's another, yeah, wow. There's a nice one, too. There's a couple of little ones in the corner around lunch. Do you ever find any I, up in here? I was going to say, see way, see way up there in the back where all those rocks are up there? Yeah. That, Take it apart once in a while. You'd be surprised how many... You oh know, yeah! Stick right there. You yeah, know they fall and they drop and they just stick right there. Yeah, I bet you. <laughs> wow, Brian, Me. that's a really yeah, nice job. Really nice one. Good job. Like All right, we gotta check this out. Look at that baby. That's a keeper. There it is. That's hair on it. Nice one. I can get some point, point three, point four. You know what, I'm really curious, so I'm gonna weigh it up right now. All right, check it out. And point four. Oh, it was way off. That's a one grammar, 1.01. Wow, I was way off. 1.01 grammar, all right. Sweet. I'm gonna cook it up and wait. Grams. One point four one. 